Hi guys, I'm Yusuke at Karate Code in Japan, and thank you so much for checking out today's video. Today, a Japanese sensei is going to be reacting to American karate. And the style we're going to be looking at is called Shuri Karate, Shuri Ryu Karate. Shuri Ryu is different from Shurite, which is one of the, the karate groups in Okinawa. It seems like the founder, Robert Trias, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing the name, has trained under He Xiang, who knows Jin Huan. Uh, which is a Chinese martial art, and Okinawan Shurite from Choki Motobu. And later learned other styles such as Tenshin Shinjo School of Kenpo Jujutsu, which is basically Wadoryu, and some Shotokan as well. So let's see how the US merged various karate styles and Chinese martial arts all over the world and made their own style. Let's start watching. So first, we're gonna be taking a look at their Kihon. And they seem to have 11 different types of movements that they do consecutively. So let's start watching those. Whoa. Okay, already, it's a very fast hand move movement. Um, this is just like the Kihon that Hokama-san, a Gojiru sensei was doing in Okinawa, where they have consecutive movements without any stop. So that's a huge difference between how Shotokan and most karate styles stop the motion. So I can definitely see it's a bit closer um, style to Okinawa styles. And also I saw this. That's the movement from Uechiryu. So seeing a lot of Okinawan influences already. Yeah, and there's a grab too. And it's interesting how he always ends with a Gedanbarai. If you guys know, if you guys do Shuri, Ryu Karate, let me know why you guys end up doing the Gedanbarai um, at the end all the time. Oh, did you guys see that? That was, the hand was open. I think he is having a sigh or something in the hand. I mean, not he doesn't have it right now, but he's assuming he's having something in the hand. Yeah, and wh why does he do this? Hmm, very interesting, but it's so different. And I guess they love the Agiuke. And I just noticed the hikite, maybe that's his habit, but they have it like this. It's not like this. If you guys know this style, let me know if this is just his habit or the style habit. Oh, okay, so they have shikodachi, a very long one. So, hmm, I, I mean, I read that this derives from the shuri, um, shurite lineage. However, I can see that it looks more like goju. Yeah, this. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> Up and then down. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, so they don't stop the movements that much. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this. Koi no shippo uchi. The one you saw from Uechiryu. Check that video out if you haven't. Yeah, practicing that over and over will get you stamina. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so right away, the Kihon was a lot different from the usual Kihon that you see in most karate styles that you, you might practice all over the world. If there's a difference you notice, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, I provide private and group lessons online, so if you'd like to check that out, please check it out from this link up above. The first week for the group lesson is free, so why don't you give it a try? Let's continue with the video. Okay, next we're gonna be taking a look at their kata. The first one we'll be watching is called Shudo So. This is something that I've never heard of before. And to have that word so independently, I've never seen that in any kata. So let's start watching it. By the way, this organization is the disciples, disciple of the founder of Shuri Karate. Mm, looks very much like Sanjin. Pull back, punch both hands. Oh, that's very similar to the Uechiryu Sanjin. But with both hands, yeah, this. But they don't close the hand, that's interesting. They keep it open. And then it was gonna come. Move forward, oh no. Oh, that looks very much like Niju Shiho. And the Kokutsudachi, the back stance, is very similar to Shotokan. And the Shotokan Kokusudachi is a very unique stance. So I wonder, oh, and I heard the founder also trained with a Shotokan practitioner. Um, I believe the name was Gima Sensei. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. 
So maybe this style has a little bit of shotokan taste to it as well. Oh, interesting. Shote, maoshi uke, and then a strike. Mm. Never knew something like this evolved <laughs> in the States. Mm, sliding motion. That looks like a sochin dachi, or it can be the um, the stance from which you do. It looks very similar. Mm. Interesting how he does the hite like this, because Shotokan doesn't have this that much. Okay, nice. Wow. So it's a very slow step by step kata. So it's a, it's very different from the kihon that we just saw. They take impact on every single attack. So very nice. Interesting way to end the kata. Now, the next kata is called, oh, it's naihan chinidan. If you do shotokan, you might know it as tekki nidan. Let's see the differences. Mm, similar. Nice. The levels are a bit different. The stances are higher. This is a naihan chidachi, I believe. But, oh, so it's not down here. Shotokan, you have it at the gedan, but then, they now have it in the middle. Interesting. Also, it's a takedown. Nice. Strike. Mm, this one is very relatable. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Takedown. Ha. And the ki is there. Oh, and I think mm, he didn't use the hips that much in the beginning, but he did. Oh, and they ended like Jion. Hmm. Very surprised that. Such a style, so established, is in the United States. The next kata is Rohai. If you do Shotokan and some organization um, use this kata, name it as Meikyo Nidan. Very Shitoryu like. Mm. It's very similar to the normal um, Rohai you see in other styles. Hmm, Goju Ryu looking Shikotachi. Very nice. Hmm. How they use the hips are not so different from what you see normally. Whoa! Nice. I love it. Love this kata. And then they end like Jion, and then that push. <laughs> it's like it's like Naruto. Never seen so many hand motions happening at the last. Oh, and then they end like this. The last kata is called Gope Sho. Gope sounds very interesting. With a P. This is something that's very unique, I think. Okay, low. Block with open hand this way, and then Agiuke, push forward. Hmm. It's like an advanced version of Naihanchi or Tekki. Open. And they have a uh, Kibodachi. Ha. Oh. To do that with one hand, it must be difficult. Hmm. It's always fun to watch new katas. Nice. Nice combination. So I guess this is Kibodachi and Zingzudachi only. Whoa! Oh, I've seen that move. Uh, oh, that's like um, su Super Rinpe. Oh, <laughs> so many styles into one. That's like, um, you know, Heian Godan. Yeah, what's up with that movement? Pam pam, you. So you make a cross first. Bring it down, pull back. Oh, you, oh, they're striking. Uh, draw it back. That was in the former kata they did. I forgot the name. The one I mentioned is for like Nijushi. Ho. Ho. <laughs> so unique. It's fun. That was so much fun to watch. And then that ending. Guys, honestly, I wasn't expecting the kata to be this good.
Um, of course, the practitioner himself is a very high level practitioner. I appreciate his upload of the videos. However, seeing this being evolved in the 1940s, you know, the man tries coming back to the state, spreading karate all over the US, forming the first uh, US Karate Federation. So hearing all those just inspires me. It's, it was very nice overall. You know, I really wasn't expecting this high quality um, katas. So, I mean, thank you so much for sharing this to the world in the uh, US Karate. And yeah, I hope to see more styles in the US. If you guys know your local um, karate style that has evolved from this or evolved from other uh, shotokan, whatever it is, let me know in the comment section below so I can take a look at it. And yeah, if you like the video, please like it. And for other reaction videos, check these out. And if you do other karate styles, let me know what was the most different about this style. I'll see you guys in the next video.